All right, guys, I don't know what number tip we are on, but this is a very, very important tip, very uh, underutilized, and I don't even think people may, may <clears throat> I don't think, What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Lannister and today I'm gonna to be going through and showing you guys how to use shortcuts in FL Studio. And um, for this video, I'm not gonna be going over like super simple stuff, like how to copy over pattern stuff. I'm really gonna try and show you guys stuff that you probably won't know. And I'm kind of basing this off of my six years of producing a lot of these things I just learned within the last year or are new to the FL Studio 20 updates. Um, yeah, I would honestly say this is one of the most important videos I've dropped. Uh, I mean that because being able to be efficient when you produce is very Im oh you know the apple remote is so i could buy the fights ufc 251 hey you know what the remote is no all right my bad bro from downstairs yeah yeah i don't know who's gonna get that w thanks Enzo. all right yeah um yeah back to where i left off um, the most important, this is probably one of the most important videos, just because in the industry, efficiency is key, absolutely key. Um, you gotta be able to cook up super fast. An artist might really like a uh, loop or melody you're doing in a session, and you gotta be able to just cook up. You got like 15 minutes max. So um, think of this video as more of like an essential, like you gotta learn these tools for sure, and just, it, it'll, be, it'll help you in the long run. Um, get this video 2,000 likes. I'll pick a bunch of commenters to, uh, Give some free stuff to and follow me on instagram at the cxdy uh yeah let's get in the video all right guys let's get into the video um <clears throat> first shortcut i'm going to show you guys is uh some super simple that i actually found the other day um on twitter and uh, i figured um why not share with you guys since i am now abusing it it's uh if you hold right click and you scroll with your ma uh, mouse wheel you can scroll through the tools that are up here uh, this is extremely useful, especially when you're trying to work fast um, from going between that and the cut tool if you don't have it uh, set up where you just click C up here. I got it really close to muscle memory where I could just scroll uh, right up to it um, with like a solid 50% accuracy, but I'm still working on it. Um, but this is really useful um, when you're just hopping through, you're working on a track and instead of going up here the whole time or say you're like, you're just working over here or something, you don't want to have to keep doing this over and over. You can scroll through your tools. Um, and it's just super effective. Really good tool to start learning uh, with muscle memory. You start learning uh, the strokes. Pause. With the, uh, with all, to get all, to all the tools. Tip number two, and this kind of piggybacks off of that uh, tip number one, the shortcut, um, is clicking shift and right click when you are on the cut tool. So if we're gonna, um, want to make like manual stops or anything that I kind of like to do like in the beat like here This is exactly how I would do it. I would come in here. I'm on the pencil tool the draw tool I just scroll down to the cut and you would right click and drag and what that's gonna do is it's gonna delete everything um, Based on the majority. So if I come over here um, To halfway here and you're looking at the hi-hats. I can't why well, I, I can't I was gonna point but I can't show you um it's gonna, you're gonna see it on this part, it's gonna delete this part of the hi-hats from here to here. Um, and here it did the opposite because the pattern is longer here. So you can use that to your advantage or you can manipulate that. So say if I wanna make a break right in the middle here, I will go with the left click, shift, and then I'll scroll up with the right click and I'll be able to have a little stop right here, so. Just like a little break like there, if you just wanna um, make stops in the beats and stuff yourself instead of letting the engineer do it. And uh, yeah, tip number three is how to uh, render audio that you wanna use um, in a very specific part of the track and you can do this very fast. Um, you can do this by kind of, what you do is you come up here and you right click and you scroll and whatever stuff you have in here, if you come over to your main mixer and you arm your master track um, and you hold uh, Alt R, and make sure song is on so it doesn't do the pattern what it'll do is it'll record this whole section right here the whole entire thing so anything you got in here it's gonna record if you have drums in there if you have just the melody just the clap it'll it'll record whatever's highlighted so if you want just the melody to get recorded you like for some reason you want to render it out this part and then pitch it up um, an octave or pitch it down whatever add effects to it blah 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 you would just highlight what you want to um, what you wanna render here, and you come up here, and Alt R, you gotta make sure you're on the mixer track. Make sure when you come over here, you have cut remainder, that way it just makes it a perfect loop of what you have, and it doesn't have a tail end, and uh, have your resampling high, your wave bit high, just to have the highest quality. And you'll see here that it's gonna pop down here. And now you have this all right here, one, two, three, all rendered into one. 
instead of it being one by one. Tip number three is something you guys might be uh, pretty familiar with, but it is going to be how to route everything to the mixer track. I had to check my notes here. Um, how to route, route everything to the mixer track. As you can see here, I already have everything routed, but if I come over um, and I just start adding stuff into the player, I can just show you the gist of what I mean here. Just like add all these. So you're gonna see here that none of these are routed. What you could do is drag, highlight them all, control C, come down here, I do control shift L, and that's gonna bring all these into the mixer track. You could do that um, a number of times, I actually don't wanna mess up this track, um, but yeah, you could do this, you could keep rerouting it and stuff, you might just have to change the name, that's the only issue is if you do it and you mess up, you're gonna have to change the name of each mixer track, um, but yeah. All right guys, tip number four is how to split your channel, um, your little pattern channel here, you're gonna come down and split by channel and what that's gonna do is it's just gonna separate everything. I've used this on every single beat, I make everything on one channel and then I uh, come over here and I split by channel. Whoops, oh, I already split up. Oh. So what I'm gonna do is split by channel here and that's gonna split everything up and you're gonna be able to come over here. You can just highlight all this if you want, delete it, come up here, click the top and then shift and click the bottom one and you could drag it in. And then just for organization purposes, I like to come over here and just drag everything out so that it's all equal. Oh, little bonus tip here, because I just kind of did it naturally. If you hold control shift, um, you could click and de-click patterns. And this is just really good if you want to copy over certain stuff like this, bring it all over, come in here and copy that over. If you only want to copy that, you know, yeah. Uh, all right, tip number five, I think, is um, how to uh, undo. Um, and a lot of you guys probably already know this. It's Control Z. But another thing that you guys might not know is if you control uh, hold Control Alt Z, you could keep going back um, and uh, keep working your way back to kind of like whatever part you wanted to get back to. So you just keep clicking it. Um, my Nvidia. I don't know if it shows on my screen, but my Nvidia pops up. It's like a little glitch. But if you just keep clicking through it. You can go all the way back through the playlist section here in your history without having to scroll over here and do this. Um, very useful tri uh, tip if you need to move back like three steps and you don't want to come in out of your out of your kids, blah blah blah. Come up here, go to your history, all that. Like this is a way quicker way to just you know move back a couple steps. Tip number six is all the piano roll tricks um, that I use a lot that I think is super essential to be using. This is um, probably one of the most important parts of the video, and I'm just going to show you guys here, just kind of. Um, there's a whole bunch actually. I'm just gonna put this all into one tip. Um, you guys can pause and remember, write down whatever you guys need to do. Um, something that is really cool is Shift D and that's gonna shorten everything based on your magnet. So if I have it at half, it's gonna go like that. If I have it at six, it's gonna go really tiny like that. And this is just super useful. What you could do is shift it like that. This is usually how I like to do 808s um, just so I can like have not stuff overlap and stuff. I'm very like, everything's gotta be pretty organized for me. And yeah, so what I would do is like start a pattern like this, blah, blah, blah. I build up the pattern and then at the end for, you know, it could be something like this and then I'll, I'll drag a note in at the end and you're going to control L and that's going to make everything legato. You're going to delete this note and you're going to have uh, everything just drawn out here just to the fullest note till it meets the other note. This is super useful for 808s and uh, yeah, if you want to make even like more cuts, say this is a super simple 808 pattern. Um, you could come into the tool and use the tools that I showed you guys before with the cut tool um, You know make cuts like this with the shift R L if you want to break up the pattern and stuff like that and Yeah, it's very very useful um, It's another one. I wrote a bunch down for you guys. Oh Oh, this is important. This is important. Um, so we're, I'm gonna have another trick here is I'm gonna come over here Oh shit. I'm gonna come over here and delete that and say it is like this when you're just working on the pattern you're trying to just be super fast um what you're gonna be able to do is come up here right click drag i usually just do it on half because i don't have great eyesight and copy that over and then do that trick that i showed you before what you can do though is control all that's going to select everything and then control uh d is going to deselect everything so this is super useful when you want to bring over patterns like this you want to copy everything over you want to unselect certain things and then um, all the rules or all the tools that I showed you all the little shortcuts from before this all applies to the piano roll so control shift you could click a bunch of notes say you want to move all these low a notes a sharp notes because everybody knows the fucking most trash 
808 note. On the planet, A sharp is trash, and you always have to move it up an octave, so you would go like that, and uh, yeah. I'm stupid, I left out a very useful tool um, in the piano roll trick, so this is going to be six and a half, seven tip, I don't know. Um, you're gonna copy, paste, your kick over, because this is a lot of times you just want your kick to be the same pattern, or you just want to get it um, to start out like this. Super easy to do this, it's control A, Alt K, and yours isn't gonna look like this when you first do it, but after you do it once, it'll remember the settings. Um, but it'll look something like this, and then what you're gonna do is just drag this all the way to C, and then you're gonna click on the C, and it's gonna move all your kicks to uh, the C note. So it's just gonna, every time your 808 hits, you'll have that kick on the C instead of it bouncing around with the 808s. Super fast way to just lay your kicks down, and then from there, you can, you know, edit, take out certain things, uh, yeah. Very useful tip. Uh, last tip, I don't remember what number one, but um, yeah, this is a super, super useful tip. Uh, it's not even something that's really shortcut related, but it's gonna save you so much time when you're working. What you're gonna have to do here is um, get a bunch of sounds that you wanna use or that you like to use a lot, or even if not that, um, like my kit, my new upcoming kit has templates for uh, just to speed up your workflow. So I have, you know, double time clap in here stuff. Um, then maybe the accent snare pattern and then like a kick that you really like or something. So I'll drag it in like this. And what you're gonna be able to do is create a template that's gonna have settings that um, is, is just something that you use on every beat. Every single beat you do something like this. This is how my master always is. So I want this loaded in. Um, you maybe come over here, you always route your, uh, your melody to two or something. Come in here, put an EQ so that you just have time, uh, you save time by busting out the low end like right away um, or leaving it just so that you have it all loaded up. Just load up your, your plugins that you know you always use. You're gonna come up here, save. Um, doesn't really matter what it is. And uh, what you do is come over here, my FL, wherever your FL is. Um, mine's on my rapid drive, my, my external. But you would come over here, you'd go to data, templates, and then you would save it wherever it is um, in here. And I think you got to reload FL. Yeah, you do. So I'm gonna do this real quick. Um, actually, no, you don't need to do that. I'm just, you're gonna have to take my word for this. Um, once you reload FL, you're gonna be able to just click on that and um, have your default template started up and it'll save whatever you had. Actually, I'm just gonna show you because I gotta prove this point here. Okay, cool. I just want to make sure it's loaded back up. Um, so yeah, you would come over here. Shit! You would come over here to new template, and you would have uh, your little thing here. And what you could also do to make it even faster is just come over here to change default template, and you would be able to click it on there, and it would load that up. I'm not gonna do that because I don't want this one. But yeah, you would see. and it loads everything that you had up. This super, super good hack. I use this uh, obviously on every beat, it's my default. Um, yeah, hope you guys really like this video. I hope you really found it useful. Please learn these things, not even for, for myself, for you. I want you guys to get really efficient in this way that you guys just shine more in sessions and stuff like that. Um, and just speed up your workflow in general. Uh, yeah, drop a like, get this thing to uh, 2000 likes, drop comments, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, peace.